Hey guys, welcome to New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year. This is day 78 and we are still going strong. New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year is a mega challenge that Laura and I decided to tackle. We have to do 365 activities in only 365 days all around New Zealand. Today, we're going to be exploring Wellington. In the last few days, we've done a ton of different activities, so we're turning it down a notch and we are checking out Wellington. We're going to walk around the, all the uh, city to see all the murals. We're going to check out the waterfront. We're going to grab a coffee. We're going to... Um, grab some food in some of the best eateries of Wellington and then we're going to go check out a live performance. Is that turning it down a notch? I don't really know but you can check in with me at the end of the video where I'm going to go all over all the questions that you had on the first time that we published it. See you then! This morning we wake up at Trek Global Backpackers and the plan for today is simply to just go around Wellington, explore, it's a really artsy city and Laura and I are really looking forward having some kind of more relaxing day. So we start making our way to the Wellington waterfront, which we've heard loads about. And on our way, it's beautiful and sunny weather. We're checking out some murals, a lot of street art. And in true Wellington spirit, the weather just absolutely turns by the time we get to the waterfront. So as we're walking along the Wellington waterfront, there's a lot of art, a lot of sculptures, but in particular, these hidden concrete blocks with poems carved into them. And they're hidden in really obscure places, so we're trying to find them along the Wellington waterfront. I'm even reading a few to Robin because his accent is just too terrible to, to even say these words. It's not long until the clouds transform into a massive rainstorm. It's always like that in New Zealand. The weather changes so quickly. So we brave the rain for a wee while around the city, going around, taking some pictures, just showcasing the artsy side of Wellington. But after such a long time under the rain, it's time for us to warm up. And where better to warm up than the Capital Market, which is a massive food court in the city centre of Wellington and has heaps to offer. So we head to one of the funkiest coffee shops that we can find on this um, capital market and we are warming up with a very hot drink. We are drying ourselves a little bit, Laura is drying the camera and we're basically just bracing ourselves to spend the afternoon exploring even more of Wellington. So after warming up with a nice hot drink, we are making our way back onto the streets of Wellington where this time we notice there's even more art in Wellington. This place is so artsy. And there's a lot of things happening here. There's a lot of posters of events going on. And yeah, a lot to see. I'm not cursing. So the architecture in Wellington is very Victorian-esque, which is a lot different to what we've seen in New Zealand so far. And we're wandering around for a for a long time and realize that we're getting ourselves a bit lost we end up back on the waterfront which we're not really complaining about it's a nice place but we are heading for a very specific street that we've heard so much about so now that we have a plan we are heading back toward the city and it really feels that we've took the same streets twice but Either we're seeing completely different arts or either there's just heaps of streets and heaps and heaps and heaps of art. It's absolutely crazy how every single street looks different in Wellington. There's no two streets alike. But we are now heading to Cuba Street, which is probably the most famous street in Wellington. Cuba Street is the hipster joint of Wellington. It's got a bohemian vibe about it. It is absolutely full of different cafes and this really fun water feature that I could just stare at all day. Because we forgot to eat after our plans were totally messed up because of the rain, we decided to go to another amazing cafe in Wellington. This one is the Enigma Cafe and we treat ourselves to some pies, some cake. Oh my god, amazing. Now that we've got our sugar rush, we are heading back around the city. We are actually trying to find the theater where we are actually going tonight. Little did I know that theaters are actually in Wellington, mostly just a pub with a stage. But we've been told that there was some awesome live comedians tonight, so we have to find that pub. 
can't really recall the name because we arrived there way after dusk. So we end the night with a comedy night. We see some awesome comedians, have a beer or two, and it's a great way to sort of end the uh, artsy, eventsy side of Wellington that this city is famous for. Sun is shining, sun is shining all around us, all around us, children playing. Okay, that's beyond my vocal range. Yes, Laura, it is definitely out of your vocal range. But aside from that, what did you guys think about this video? We definitely did a lot in Wellington all in that one day. But if you want to see more of like all the main activities, there is ton of other videos on this channel. Uh, you know, there is uh, videos of Zelandia, there is videos of Weta Studios, there is video of Te Papa Museum, there is ton of other videos. So check those one out as well. But you know, kind of just a day hanging out in Wellington. I think that we did a good job showing that off to you guys. Um, we really try to kind of cover quite a lot of ground that's the same thing that we do on nzpocketguide.com which is a free website the largest travel guide to New Zealand ever written and it's done by Laura and I uh, in which we try to give you all the information you need to travel in New Zealand also all our tips of uh, you know like travel tips and also all our recommendation of stuff to do anyway as promised let's go over some of the comments that we received last time we I mean the first time we published this video Growing up without borders is great video. We've been in, we are in Wellington right now, and we're loving it. So here you go. Wellington is an awesome place to hang out at. Uh, Double DS9 says, I really like your video and your observations, particular when we are, particular that we are artsy. We are, and that every street looks different. It is. It is a delight to walk around our city, and I'm glad you enjoyed your time very much. Thank you very much, Double DS9. Look at that. The locals are so welcoming. Hash Ash sorry Ash Pomare says loved this video so much and your guys intro and outro clips are awesome. I'll be staying at the same place as you guys are as well. Looking very much forward to my trip to Willy and yes, one thing I always tell my visiting friend is that uh, New Zealand weather is very unpredictable. So yeah, definitely like it changes all the time. But yeah, thank you very much Ash for the lovely comment. That's quite cool. Rod and Rifle loves our video. Uh, imperfectly perfect vlog says that they're here. Uh, praise crabs and keep moving says cool man, thank you. And uh, Hita Patel says like if you live in Wellington, I do. I have been to all those places. So look at that. We are showing one like most of the places that the locals will recommend. That's pretty awesome. So there was not really much questions or anything else. It was just kind of like a lot of positive comments. So thank you very much, guys. That's really awesome. We still do have more to do in Wellington, but. Alas, New Zealand's biggest gap here still have to move. So we are leaving Wellington during the next video and we're going to be taking the ferry all the way to Picton. But don't fear, we'll be back when our loop on the south and then is finishing and we're still going to do some stuff around Wellington. So there is still more to uncover around the city. Uh, if you guys are planning a trip to New Zealand right now, you can use our knowledge to plan your trip. It's pretty simple. First up, you can use New Zealand uh, nzpocketguide.com. Second, you can join us on this couch over there for one of our live sessions. It's happening at 8 a.m. on Sunday every single week, New Zealand time. There is a link in the description below so you can figure out what time it is your side. It's probably on Saturday. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can come hang out with us. It's about an hour. You guys put all your New Zealand travel questions in the live chat and we answer all of them. It's kind of a lot of fun. Uh, sometimes we even do giveaways when we reach milestone of subscribers. Like if we reach 20,000 subscribers or 30,000 subscribers or those kind of things. 50, 60, 70, 90, 100,000 subscribers. We do giveaways. It's kind of a lot of fun. Uh, Alright, uh, yeah, YouTube tells me you have to subscribe by the way, so subscribe. And finally, last thing, hit like. It's a great free way to say thank you for all our hard work. I, I just love when you guys do that, so it really warms our hearts up. Uh, that's wrap it up. I think I have uh, said everything I need to say and I think that I've shared all the knowledge that I have to share for today. But don't worry, we still do those videos all the time on this channel so until the next time see you then and keep on traveling awesome and be kind and be lovely 